Good morning and welcome to the first merch here in uh, Trendesk 2021, day two. Uh, this is a placement game uh, between uh, Tromsø Student uh, Club and uh, NMBUI, or the Wizards of Oz, as they're also known. Quick uh, run through the roster. On Tromsø we have number three, Marit Pedersen. She's a welcome transplant to Northern Norway. She's formerly played with TFK, where she's harnessed the forbidden techniques and helped TSI grow. Number four, Sylvia Lutter. Uh, Sylvia Lutter uh, learned ultimate in the harsh desert environments and thus does not require water or rest. Number five, Julia Wagner. She's a Tromsø veteran. Uh, Julia has been in the team from the beginning. Wind, snow, freezing temperatures, nothing can stop her. Number six, Vladimir Krivinsky. Vlad has invented sports games that are played by children all over Eastern Europe. And the myth mystics have foretold that he's destined to forever change the world of Ultimate. Take heed. Number seven, Matt Nock. He was uh, poached from the US outdoor scene. Matt is uh, the local disc wizard in Tromsø. Uh, number nine, Ashlak Strøm. It's his second season playing for TSI. Uh, he has played for many years, and let's hope that his knees can take the strain this time too. He's a former pancake player. Number 11 is Griffin Hill. He's a scientist by day, bartender by night, but always looking for a deep puck. Number 16 is Robert Saunderson. Uh, he has moved across the country, but still couldn't escape the allure of ultimate in the north. And without a number is Jacob Jacobson. He's a Trondheim native and football convert. Jacko is the ultimate sleeper agent, ready to act, be activated at Trendesk. For NBUI, we have number two, Bren. I'm sorry, I'm going to uh, mispronounce these names. Bren Guerrier Levaseur. He's a French player and not Lynn. Number three, Stéphane Toury, another French player. He has a huge baguette uh, addiction. Number six, Kayla Jones is the only South African in the tournament. Super social, spirit coach, and loves shouting. Number seven, Quarantine Kedon is a French player and loves some good chocolate. Number eight, Bettina Julia Ja is a Norwegian player, younger sister of Alexander Jar, that nobody really knows. Uh, number 11, Ive Ekberg, another Norwegian player and the baby of the team, only 18 years old. Number 22, Lin Jakob is a German player and apparently the funniest one on the team. Number 24 is Imke Rotte, a Dutch player, wore a headband and loves the hippie vibes. Number 25, G.S. Bauer is another Dutch player and loves fries, like loves them. Number 36, Tenko Wormels, Wormels another Dutch player, vegan and probably, probably the most aggressive on the team. Finally, number 53 is Moritz Schor, a German-American player and the only one who really knows what's going on on the game. Been playing for seven years. I am Tarja, I play with Stumcast, formerly BSI player, and we're going to watch uh, Aslak make the pull and uh, NBUI starting the offense. Uh, Tromsø is uh, pushing them towards the sideline and unfortunately that player is out. Ooh, opening with a big hammer is number 11. That is Griffin Hill. Trying to connect with Marit but unable to get that disc. NBUI starting from the front of their end zone. Oh, not able to come up with that pass. Nice luck getting the disc. No look pass across to Griffin. 
looking for options. Swinging this sideways. Marit passing down the line. Arslak not able to get that pass, but was able to touch the disc without being out. Means this comes in where he touched it. If not, that disc would have come down far down on Tromsø's half of the field. Oh, good defense by Marit. On number two. That was the year. Hi, this. Oh, Ashlak able to come up with that after number five. I'm sorry, that was not number five. Tried to make a defense, but Ashlak with the whip, with the score. So, Tumsa going up 1 0. Almost gets the defense. Gets the hand on it, but uh, not able to catch the defense. And Ashlak's able to get the wobbly disc. Ashlak with the pull. That pull goes uh, out of bounds, so. And the BUI gets to take it to the brick mark that is uh, 10 meters in front of the back line. Looking for a pass downfield. Oh, the Wizards not making the short passes at this, the start of this game. It's the first game of the day, so maybe they're not warmed up. Pass down the field to Marit. Looking off. Uh, and zone pass. Oh, there it comes. This time to number 16. That should be Robert. Yes, yeah, Robert making the pass into. Is that Sylvia actually getting the score? Yeah, Robert's not in. Making the pass in. And I believe that's number four or five in the end zone, getting the score. So TSI up 2-0. We've been playing for three and a half minutes. Let's see if the Wizards can get their, uh, their passing game up and going. Bit hesitant on the first pass, and then miscommunication and easy drop, unforced error by NBI. One person in the end zone, cut to the sideline, and an easy score. That is number 16, Robert. This time he gets the score. So a nervous opening for the Wizards. Uh, Trumps has got a comfortable 3-0 lead now. Uh, let's hope that the Wizards can get uh, their game going so we can get some decent play. That should be in mat number seven with a pull. Ashlak's taking a breather. He's coming in. And the Wizards are... appears to be waiting for the defense to come down the field before making the first pass. Oh, pass through the middle, number seven, that's Quarantine, not able to get his hands on that pass. Trumso takes over. Number four with a disc, trying to find an opening. Finds Vladimir. And not find, oh, just finds Matt up the field. Wants to find Vladimir back in the end zone. That hammer is awesome, but a bit too far. Vlad making an awesome layout. 
just not able to connect with that disc, that would have been a fantastic score. Sliding into the wall. Wizards taking over. Just able to get that in. Number 53 and the Wizards are on the board. Number 8, Bettina making the score. After a pass from uh, number 53, Moritz. Nice lefty floater. Awesome. So that is the Wizards on the board after 6 minutes 40 seconds. So let's see if they're able to get a break and maybe get another point on Tromsø. Going for the disc. It's Griffin. Looking for Deepak. That foot was on the line as he caught it, so there is an out call. Uh, closest player says she thought it was in, but you can clearly see he's on the line as he catches the disc. So that is a correct out call. So the Wizards getting a turnover high up on the field. Looking to punch it in. No, nope, looking for a swing. Bettina gets the disc. No, that's not Bettina. That is Kayla, South African. This stall is set seven, and that is a stall out. Kyla was not able to get the disc, but uh, Tromsø had stopped playing. So that goal is coming, that disc is coming back. And Tromsø will take over possession as uh, the Wizards was not able to get the disc off. Griffin passing to there's a number. Oh, pass into the end zone. And number 24 not able to make that defense. And that is another point for Tromsø. So up 4-1 after the Wizards almost was able to uh, take a point back. Instead, Tromsø increases their lead. Uh, Wizards are ready on the line, waiting for the pull. Tromsø is uh, discussing their defense. High pull. It's also time to come down. We got the Wizards in a vertical stack. Crossfield Hammer not able to connect with Kyla. That was an uh, ambitious uh, pass. Tumsa takes over. Hammer into Griffin and he is able to make this war. That's how you do a hammer. Bit higher, more faulty. And Tromsø gets another point. That is Matt making the pass into the end zone. Tromsø 
is uh, setting up their defensive line. Wizards are ready, going for the disc. And the hammer pull. Just out of bounds. So the Wizards gets to take that disc in on the brick mark. Also gets Trumps the time to set up their defense. And the Wizards are not taking it in at the correct position. Because on the pole, if it goes out of bounds, you should take it in 10 meters from the back line. There's a small X on the field. Instead, the Wizards were taking it in on the 6 meter field, or 6 meter line, uh, putting themselves at a slight disadvantage. Trying to play downfield, there were overheads abound, and uh, they are a bit harder to ca catch. And we see Griffin making an ambitious throw down the field. Lot of angle on that disc makes it really hard to catch as it comes down at speed. And the BUI looking for passes downfield and a hand block from number six on Tromsø. That is Vladimir making the hand block. So Matt taking the disc in in front of the end zone. Looking for Griffin for another score. Able to get him. No, that's Vlad. Getting the bookends. First the defense and then scoring. Scoring the points. So the score seems to have uh, gone stale. It should be more than 4-1. I believe we should be up to 6 now. 6-1. technicians to sort out the score. It should be, be more than full. Last luck with the pull to the Wizards. High pull, getting it in front of their own end zone. Uh, Tumse is very aggressive on the defense. And number three is able to come with, up with a run through defense. Marit. Aslak now in front of uh, end zone, and that is uh, Marit with the bookends, number three for Tomsa. game now. Uh, Wizards are struggling getting their offense in game going. Let's see if they can make some adjustments they're discussing on the line now. Uh, how to set up against this Tomsa team. Another very high pull from Maslak. Another missed pass. Tromsø takes over with Aslak. Passing to Robert. Hammer down the line to Aslak. That is an awesome point. And Aslak getting on the scoreboard. After that lovely hammer down the line. Played for 15 and a half minutes now. We see the Wizards are standing at the opposite side of the field discussing how to set up the offense. Uh, Tums is uh, discussing seeing their defensive tactics.
That's a long throw. It goes out the back. Giving uh, uh, the Wizards the option to take the disc in at the brick mark. But also gives Tums uh, time to set up their defense. Wizards now with uh, three handlers. Making the initial pass. Another pass down the line. Lots of fakes on the handlers. And there we're starting to see a flow and an awesome point from the Wizards. Having two people potentially able to catch that final pass into the end zone. Ending up with number seven, that's Corentin Credo, the French player that loves this chocolate. So that is Wizards with their second point of the game. After finally getting some flow into their offense. The one thing that uh, we see is the handlers on the Wizards are making a lot of fakes and that uh, can indicate a bit uh, high stress. So And there I get the producer on my ear saying that uh, there is indeed problems with the scoring on the screen. Uh, they are working on it, uh, and hopefully we'll get that addressed soon. In the meantime, we see Tromsø passing a hammer down to Marit and a uh, dish down the line for that is number six, Vladimir, getting the score. Vladimir, of course, the inventor of several sports games that are played by children all over Eastern Europe. And uh, I'm uh, a bit curious how the mystics have foretold that he will change the world of Ultimate. Because while the rules are pretty well developed, there are always improvements being made, but any real revolutionary changes, I'm not sure how that will come into being, but we'll see. It's interesting at times. Looking for cuts from the handlers and a hand block there. That is probably Robert number 16, yes. <laughs> and a crossfield pass in for Tromsø. That is number 13, I guess. There's no number 13 at Tromsø. Let's see if we can get the number off his back. And another high pull from Aslak. This one, uh, not the best angle, so it slides forward on the field. And another missed pass by the Wizards. Most like able to get the defense. This goes out on the back line. But he takes it in on the far side. That is not the correct position, giving them a uh, bit more space to work with, and uh, that is uh, the player with number 19 on the back, and that probably would be Jakob Jakobsen, uh, since he's the only player that's not listed with a number, and there are no other number 19s. So, crediting Jakob with the score there. A Trondheim native. So we're past 20 minutes. The Wizards are standing at the opposite end of the field discussing uh, how they are going to get their offense flowing again. Uh, 
and also actually working on their forcing and the defense. Tromsø is uh, ready with the pull. Griffin signaling it with hand up. And Wizards calling for the desk. Pull goes, that is uh, sent at 100 miles an hour. Clear across the field. And this comes in on the break. Looking for cuts downfield. There's a cut coming on the break side. Deep puck. And that is how they should have been playing all along. Deep puck from the brick mark down to number three, Stefan Torin. The player with the huge baguette addiction. That should be the Wizards' third point of the game. Now let's see if they can get some renewed spirits and uh, energy from that point. See if they can get a quick defense on uh, Tromsø. Which is ready for their offense. Asla calling for the desk. Pull goes. Uh, skates out on the sideline. Aslax taking it in. Finding a dish to Jakob. Getting a dump to number seven. That should be Matt. A bit closer on the mark now, forcing Tumsu to play backwards on the field. Jakob on the far end of the field. And a huck into the end zone and a lovely defense from uh, the Wizards. That might have been uh, Gis or Imke. Putting the disc into play. Looking for a pass. Not really any action. And a uh, floppy hammer. <laughs> it's able to connect and then, oh! Another hammer attempt into the end zone. Number 24, Gies Bauer, not able to get that disc. Ooh, and a pass across the field. Alstrak not able to come down with that. Giving the Wizards the disc at the front of their Tromsø end zone. We're looking for a quick pass. And not sure what happened there. I think she was uh, confused which way she was playing. And another throwaway by Tromsø. And finally <laughs> we're able to get a score after that. Quite absurd point. That is number three, Stefan, making another score for for the Wizards. And as you can see on the on the screen, they're still struggling getting the correct score on the field. So Wizards ready for. They're cool. I will make an attempt to lean over the board here and see if I can see the scoreboard. Just give me a few seconds. Scoreboard on the field says 11 4 to Tromsø. And that. Oh! 
catching that wall off, Alan's backpedaling is number six, Vladimir Kramnik. Not Kramnik, but that was a chess player. <laughs> Vladimir Krimsky. Backpedaling. And uh, not sure if that catch was done before or after the time. Uh, but anyway, that was an awesome catch. So it looks like they're getting ready to play. One more point. And who goes? Wizards getting the disc. There's an open pass down. It would have been open if it had come a bit sooner. And I think that has been the crux for the Wizards. They are not able to get the pass off quickly enough, so Thomas is able to get in front and get the defense. Griffin now looking for options, not finding anything, not seeing the dump behind, making a ambitious hammer, might almost able to get that. If she had laid out, she probably would have gotten it. Instead, the Wizards take over. And Vladimir getting a run through defense, getting in front. Might have been some contact there, but no foul called. Moya taking the disc in, making a crossfield pass, not getting enough air under that. This slides out on the sideline. And uh, the Wizards get the disc back on their front of their own goal zone. Let's see if we can find some cuts down the field. And missed pass. And the 40 pass down to Marit. Balancing close to the back line. But it's being called in. And that should be the final points. So Tromsø taking the game quite comfortably from the Wizards. Uh, Wizards not really getting their offense in. Uh, having trouble with defense. And uh, that's the end of this placement game. I have been Tadja. And uh, please enjoy the rest of these broadcasts.